Welcome to MAT2LB, booklet number one, rounding and converting, lesson number two, working with money. When we talk about money, we're talking about dollars and cents. There is a notation for each of these, which means that we use a special symbol when we're talking about either dollars or cents. You likely know these, but if you don't, let's go over them now. For dollars, the symbol that we use when we're talking about dollars is the dollar sign. And for cents, the symbol that we use when we're talking about money is like a C with a vertical line through it, that's cents. Moving back and forth between these two different ways of talking about money, either dollars or cents, it requires a mathematical operation. And since there are 100 cents, so 100 pennies or parts of that make up one dollar, it means that we can convert from cents to dollars by dividing by 100. You may use your calculator to do this, or if you use any um, sort of mental arithmetic shortcuts to do it, that's fine too. So let's look at example number one. We want to express 75 cents in dollars, in dollar notation. So we take the number of cents that you've been given and divide it by 100. So we've been given 75 cents. Because we're going from cents to dollars, we are going to divide by 100. And that results in an answer that is in our new notation, which is dollars. And 75 divided by 100 is 0 0.75. So we have 0 0.75 dollars is our answer. This is a pretty straightforward operation. Again, if you're using a calculator, that's fine. If you're using um, shortcuts, mental shortcuts for division by multiples of 10, that's fine too. Uh, let's try some of these additional, additional examples. I'll do the first one with you, and then I'll release you to try B, C, D, and E on your own. So if we're looking at 99 cents, and we're being asked to express this amount in dollars, we are going to take the amount that we're given in cents, which is 99, we're going from cents to dollars, so we are going to be dividing by 100. It gives us then a final answer, new notation, dollars, 0 0.99 dollars. So these are the steps that I'd like to see. Well, let's do B together, and then we'll let you guys try C on your own. So we have 14 cents, and we want to express this in dollars. We start by taking the number of cents we've been given, which is 14. Moving from cents to dollars, we are going to be dividing by 100. Our new notation is going to be dollars, and now we go to our answer, which is 0 0.14 dollars. So at this point, what I'd like you to do is hit pause and try C, D, and E on your own. Hopefully you're starting to see the pattern by now. So hit pause here, and you've got them done, you think you got the right answer, come back to the video. So you've come back, you've tried C, D, and E. Let's go over these ones quickly. 80 cents expressed in dollars. We take the number of cents we've been given, divide by 100. Our new notation is dollars, and our answer is 0 0.80 dollars. 19 cents in dollars. We take the number of cents we've been given, divide by 100, gives us our new notation, 0 0.19 dollars and last but not least 25 cents expressed in dollars we take the number of cents we've been given divide by 100 our new notation 0 0.25 dollars so that's converting from cents to dollars we can just as easily go in the other direction if we're given an amount in cents and asked to express it in dollars, we perform the opposite operation. And we do that by taking whatever amount we've been given in cents, or rather whatever amount we've been given in dollars and moving it to cents, we multiply by 100. We're going to multiply by 100. So let's take a look at our first example. We've been asked to express $10.45 in cents. So you take the number of dollars that you have, which is ten dollars, decimal forty-five, and multiply it by one hundred. Again, if you've got a calculator, you're welcome to use it. If you're using mental math to solve it, um, using shortcuts, you know, by multiplying or dividing by powers of ten, that's fine too. Our answer then is in cents, 
1045 cents. Again, a little difference here between these notations. You'll notice that when we're expressing things in dollars, we put the dollar sign out front. When we're expressing things in cents, the cents comes after the numbers that we've been working with. So let's try one of these additional examples. If we have 0 0.5 dollars and we're asked to express it in cents, we start by taking the amount that we've been given in dollars, which is 0 0.5. We're going to multiply it by 100 to turn it into cents. And that will give us 50 new notation cents. Let's take a look at B. If we have $1.68 and we want to express this in cents, we take the amount that we've been given in dollars, 1.68, we multiply that by 100. New notation, 168 cents. So let's hit pause here. Let's let you guys try C, D, and E. Once you've got those, you think you've got the right answers, come back to the video and we'll quickly check those. Welcome back. You've tried C, D, and E. Let's see how you did. We have zero decimal one one dollars. We write that amount, multiply it by 100 to turn it into cents. It gives us 11 cents. 15 decimal two zero dollars. We write down the amount that we're given. 15 decimal two zero. We multiply that by 100. That gives us 1,520 new notation cents. Last but not least, 0 0.08 dollars. We write down the amount that we're given in dollars. We multiply it by 100. New notation. 8 cents. At this point, as usual, you can go back, watch the video a second time. If you're comfortable with the material you've seen, it's time to head on to the worksheet. I'll see you in lesson number three.